Hi everyone, it is that time of the month where I show you what I have completed um, colouring wise. I have actually um, just finished my list. I've got 62 pictures to show you and um, those are across 31 books and two downloads. I haven't put any stickers on my page yet like I did last month but I will. But let's get stuck in and have a look. I'm just going to move my planner back so uh, I can read it and show you at the same time. Um, let me just move my book planner right back. Oh, short. There we go. Oh, good a bit here. <laughs> so my first book, I'm going to show you my Rita Berman books first. Um, I just happened to list those um, to start with. Let's move my pencil sharpener out of the way. So the um, Europa book was the um, first one I did and this was actually a tutorial um, in two parts for this um, floor envelope for um, for this page so that was my uh, that's my first one I'm just trying to make some space to put the books that I've gone through with you okay then the next Rita book was this one now this is one that I'm coming closer to finishing than the others so I try and do a little bit more in this each month just so that I can uh, get closer to finishing it it's a very lovely book as they all are um, this one sorry I didn't tell you the last one was done in cause color pencils um, as I say there's a video this one is a teapot, obviously. It was done in a mix of different pencils. I think I just grabbed them out of my drawer. So they're like all sorts of different open stock. I know that's Derwent Light Fast. I know that's Derwent Color Soft. Um, I think there's some Prismas in there. It's a bit of a mix, which was fun. And I also did this one. This was a buddy color with my friend Michelle. And uh, this one was done with Castle Arts Gold pencils, but there is a bit of Posca in there as well so that was a fun one had some fun with that so that is the second Rita book my next Rita book which is this one her water book and we did this one um, together if you followed me along this was the galleon um, it was a, a video and these this the ship was done in chroma flow pencils mungio pastels and some um, white um, I think it was Posca Oscar pen so that was that one that was a fun one to do and my last Rita book is her land book and I did two in here I did this one just the other day and this is with Castle Art metallic pencils I just do that so you can see the shine and I had to mix them up a bit to get this red because there isn't really a a dark red there's a bit of orange and black and all sorts of going on in there but uh, as I say castle art metallics and it was quite fun and the bubbles are done in a, a silver it's not I mean the metallics aren't massively shiny but I really enjoy working with them they went down a dream on this paper I have to say and uh, and I just love their muted colors and I also did this one which I just finished um last night actually so I used for this one let me just check I'm um, cool color pencils um, these are really real budget pencils but I was really pleased I tried to do a sort of gold I didn't quite get it looking exactly as I wanted and we have the um, shiny wings done with um, a Sakura um, jelly roll it's just their um, um, glitter pen which um, which um, see-through sort of things so it's like glitter glue right I am just going to go to the door because some post came and I will be back and tell you what it was but I am back and rather disappointed because it was a very uh, not at all interesting um, thing I want that out of shot there we go it's a bit distracting isn't it so this is the Johanna Basford planner yes it was a, a pizza takeaway <laughs> leaflet wow now this inside cover and see the shine this was done with um sakura i'm just looking metallic pens that i was gifted they are lovely now i feel that this page is slightly more porous than most pages it seemed a bit matte and i think they would look better on a white page um, with regards to the shine and the finish but i really like them very pretty and then we have the monthly pictures that you know I do you as videos. We could come in a bit closer, couldn't we? There we go. So this one 
obviously our first June picture. That was done in the Corcalore pencils, both the pastels and the non-pastels, apart from the ink which was done in a Sakura glaze pen. Um, I don't know if you can see the shine, it's a bit difficult to have. I think I have to tip it that way. On the, the shiny ink, it doesn't really show up. And there's some Posca dots and white pen and bits and pieces on there as well. Then this one, I think this was a three-parter. That, that one was quite a long tutorial too. And this one was done in Castle Arts Gold and Pastel Tint Pencils. So I used the pastel tones together with some darker ones to, to get some shading, which was good fun. And this one was done with Arteza Expert Pencils. Sorry, I'm referring to my list as we go. And this one was done with Prismacolors. I'm not going to show you the next one because that's for next month. So that's the planner. We've got all my, all my other Johanna Basford pictures coming up. So this, the miniature Enchanted Forest, I did this bird. Um, this was a, um, a video for you and it was done with Black Widows. So I liked him. I've often done him very colourful and you can see how colourful I did the eggs. There's a video for that as well. Um, but I really liked um, just doing him in plainer colours. Okay, now we have Miniature Secret Garden. This is one I'm closer to finishing. So I try and do a few from this one each month. And I did this one here. Now I used my um, Corrie Nor Poly colours for this and um, a black Posca pen for the background. That one I did last month, that was fun. Um, I can't tell you what I used. It will be written somewhere in my book. It will be in last month's coloured pages video. And I also did this one and I was trying out my Black Widow Scorpion, all the different greens and things. It was quite fun. I usually do this a bit more autumnal but I thought I would just try out my green pencils for that one. And uh, again, there's a video, there's a video for every one of the small pictures in this book. Um, I've got a playlist for Miniature Enchanted Forest that you can probably search for in my playlists and uh, you will find all the little um, vignettes or whatever you might like to call them. So there's that one. Now we have Ivy. Um, I've only done one picture from Ivy. Let's, let's come out a little bit. Got a slightly bigger book. There we go. And uh, it was this one here. Now you, um, you may have seen this one because I did it as a tutorial. So I showed you how to do the background and then how to do the flower leaves and teapot. I didn't show you how to do this bit and this bit though so I can talk you through that now so it's all done with Castle Arts, Castle Arts soft touch pencils the background for this part was done with the very lightest one that I used for there and the same as the flower the flowers were done with the teapot colors and the leaf was the lightest green okay and then this outside bit is done with a sparkly it's a sort of silver metallic um, pen I was tempted to match it to that side but I decided to it would be a bit harsh with the black I'm still not sure whether it would be okay or not and these gems are done with the darkest pink as well so that was that one that was a fun one to do I do love ivy but uh, it's just fitting it all in I've got so many lovely books so world of flowers next there's two that we did um, both as tutorials you may have seen this one it was a very long running afternoon series for each pot and then the uh, background so that was a fun one um, to do and that was um, polychromos and then I did this one which was also fun um, again, a couple of different videos. Um, this is Black Widows with a pastel surround. And around the skull there is a silver pen. Um, let's see if you can... Uh, tricky to see. Maybe you might, might not. But I just sort of thought it would finish it off. I'm not sure whether it my wibbly-wobbly line really works. But hey, what does that matter? Right, what have we got next? We have, we've got our last Johanna Basford, which is from Lost Ocean. And again, whoops, you would have seen this um, set of videos. Um, this is an afternoon video with one for each fish and one for the centre. And they were done with Ergosoft. So that was a fun one to do. I love this colour, don't you? Okay, 
liked that was those were all our Johanna Basswoods. Now this is a book that I was gifted um, for my birthday and I did a flip through and started colouring this page for you and you may have seen the completed page but I thought I would just show it because it's so sparkly so it's nice to do it on a video rather than just a photo. So the clouds are done with a silver um, pen, a silver sparkly pen, The um, these clouds. And then these clouds behind the house are just done with a sparkly pen. It doesn't really show up as well. A little bit. And the rest of it is done in Castle Art soft touch pencils. So that was quite fun. I haven't done any more from this book yet. But uh, they are rather fun. And I did in my video said I don't know if you can buy them. I think they are available again now. So uh, they are quite nice books. Okay. Daydreams. Um, let me see, where are we in my list? Oh yes, we've got two in here. I don't know if I bookmarked both of them. Oh, I did. <laughs> That's lucky. The first one is this crown, which I did while watching some of our Queen's Jubilee celebrations. I wanted to do something um, appropriate for Jubilee. Now, I'm trying to turn it so you can see the gold stickles on the, um, on the background, which were very hard to show in a photo. So... I use Prismacolor for this to do all the um, pencil work. The outside is done in pastel and I really like it when people do splodgy effects with paint and so I try to create that with pastel. And I was quite fond of that actually. That was quite fun. Oh the sun's come out, it's in my eyes. I don't think it will creep across the desk during this video though hopefully. Right and this was the bird page. Um, this was a, I think it was just one video where I just showed you um, this part and a bit of the wings and uh, it was a lot of fun. What did I use? Um, Castle Arts Gold for that one. So really nice, vibrant gem type colours which I really enjoyed. So I've only done a couple in there but I'm really, um, there's one more done in there for a video that comes out in a few days time and it's a bit of a fun surprise so you have to wait for that one okay microscopic marvels um have fun with this book but i've only done one this month and this is the acknowledgements page i was in the mood for something really easy and simple and i did this with polycolors the corinor um polycolor pencils um, i'm just going to make myself a bit of room on my desk ow <laughs> i just hit my elbow on my tripod I've never done that before. Okay, I've got to start a new pile, you see. Whoops. Oh, reorganise everything. There we go. Right. <laughs> Matchstick mouse. Now, my lovely friend Michelle sent me this book so that we could do buddy colours in it. And all of these are buddy colours with her. It was lovely fun. I did this one just yesterday. And... Uh, I use pastel tint pencils. I want to get to know my newer pencils better. So although this is um, Amazon US paper, it's a little bit textured and rough, which is why it's quite difficult to get a deep colour. With pastel tints, you're not looking for that anyway. I'm getting used to using it and having fun trying out different um, different types of pens and pencils on it to see what effects I can get. But that one was a fun one to do. And this one was really interesting it's you can see it's quite crumply because um i don't know if you can see I, now the sun's come out i can't see my screen very well um i did it in watercolor pencils and it works really nicely on this paper apart from the sort of crumply effect it's a single-sided book effectively you've only got the name on the other side so i don't mind that it's gone a bit crinkled but it helps to push the pencil down into the um, into the tooth of the paper. So these were Stedler Karat Aquarelle pencils, my husband's that I pinched. And we've also got some sparkly pen. Um, there's a clear glaze um, sparkle on the bubble, on the foam, and the actual bubbles are a silvery sparkle. But uh, this, you can't see a lot of difference between them. But uh, I've missed a bit there. But anyway, <laughs> but that was good fun. I had fun with that. Although my sponge went a bit green. I'm not sure why. I'm trying to shut the book. We've got another one to go. Oops. You can see the mess. Look. But I put a laminate behind and then a couple of paper to protect this one. will be fine. And this one I did um, as well with... Um, 
Arteza Premium pencils. Now I know it sort of could be a beach but I did it quite dark because I thought it was more like a lake with these trees. But I had, um, I tagged the author of the book Morgan O'Brien and this when I put it on Instagram and he replied. He has actually on quite a few. And he said he really liked the trees. So that was nice. It's nice isn't it? It's when someone um, reacts like that, it's really, really um, boosts your confidence. So, Nature Mandela's um, Melpomene Chatsipanegio 2, she says very quickly. Now, this one was a um, couple of videos that I did for you, but you get a chance here to see, the sun's gone in so I can see now, see the dragonflies with their full sparkle. And this is quite a dark page. I used my Derwent Light Fast and they aren't very pretty, vibrant, they're quite dark and they work really well for certain pictures. I'm not sure whether I would have, I think the water is a bit dark, but you know, it does make the fish stand out, so I'm not sure. But uh, it was a fun one to do. And then, oops, I also did this one as a buddy colour with my friend Michelle. And uh, this one, uh, sorry, the last one, yeah, was light fast, I did say, didn't I? This one, I'm just looking, um, it was done with Corkalor with light fast. And the background is Posca. It's quite a dark picture, but I wanted it to be a dark picture because I wanted it to be sort of scary wolf. And there's quite a lot of white Posca in the fur as well. Um, I did say when I put this on my website that me and my friend had thought about putting blood on the teeth because these look like teeth. We weren't really sure what they were, but we think they were teeth. And we were tempted and then neither of us did it. We both, I did make the eye slightly red. <laughs> But we both, we both um, didn't do it in the end. <laughs> this is funny. Um, right. Oh, these two I will show you now. They're next on my list. These are um, downloads that a friend sent to me. She's in USA, so she can get the Colour It books, um, which we can't get here in the UK, I don't think. Um, not easily. And this one is from Mandela's Volume 2. She's torn them out of the book and sent them to me, which is very kind of her. And I did this one also during the Jubilee. And so I did it purples because that was the sort of colour that people were using um, for the Jubilee. It's a quite a regal colour, isn't it? So I did, let me just see, um, soft touch, castle art soft touch pencils for that. So that was great fun. I was really pleased with how it came out. Um, and then she sent me a few others. This was, I've got a couple that I haven't done yet, but this was a circus one because I think because she knows I like elephants. But I put some metallics in which just don't come out in photos. So around the edge here, this is a gold pen, and down here, there's a silver pen with a black pen on top. I wanted it to be quite bold because I felt it was like a poster, so I didn't do lots of shading i did a little bit on the animals and the ball and things but i did, and the curtains but most of it is quite bold and plain and that was sort of what i wanted and i used arteza premium pencils as well as the um gold i think it was all posca the um the other no, couldn't have been i haven't got a gold posca I'm not sure what the gold was but it was a it was some sort of pen <laughs> i'm going to be really specific right flower year beautiful book um, I find it quite daunting so I try to pick I'm picking really simple pictures at the minute to do and this one is the um, poppy obviously there's lots of poppies on this page but I decided just to do the singular poppy I did this mainly in prismas but um, I did the black in a polychromo because I did the black first and I didn't want it to smudge everywhere so I did it in a pencil that I knew wouldn't smudge and it took me quite a long time and I just really enjoyed it. It was lovely fun. So that is that one. What do we have next? Oh, we have Lulu Mayo next. Let's um, come back out a bit. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you feel too seasick. Now, Lulu Mayo, um, this was this is a cute book. I haven't done lots in her book this month, but this one I used to try out my pastel tint pencils. Um, you will have seen the video where I started off playing with them. I'm not sure if I put this photo anywhere of this page, but um, here it is completed. Um, 
so this is some um, castle arts and um, pastel tint pencils i think they work really well for the cute um sort of cartoony style um animals the strawberries may be a little bit pale but i think they're fun and uh, i have been enjoying them a lot um i think combining them sometimes with other pencils might work on certain pictures but just i'm getting used to them and just enjoying them this one the million magical creatures again i did a buddy color with my friend and we chose this page now i used she says um <laughs> prismacolor for the pencil work but there is a lot of um pen so these bits here are in silver pen this bit is a glitter and then the stars have got some stickles on i'm remembering i don't always remember i've got my stickles and they are so sparkly they are gorgeous but they do unstick up a little bit from the page because the glitter's quite big but that's okay so you just have to be aware of what might be going on at the back now this pet this book um my friend in america sent me again she wanted to do buddy colors so we've done quite a lot in here together I need to do that one which I haven't done but this very first page I did with you when I did the flip through of the book and this is how it looked when it was done I think I only did a small section so the main um, colouring is done in um, polycolours the Corinol polycolours but there is some you may or may not be able to see um, glitter pen on the circle and my name which I try so hard to make my name central and it never is <laughs> and this um this book belongs to that looks like pen to me yeah look you can see on the back um the pages it goes through the pages but you know it's single sided so I just go for it this one is done with glitter pen um castle arts I was just trying out different pens again this is amazon um paper so it's got it's quite quite toothy it's quite nice for pens but you can sometimes um it takes a lot of layers to get a vibrant pencil but this is poly colors they go down really well now this one is polychromos but i put some clear glitter pen over the top of some areas i don't know how easy it is to see but uh, that was fun now I was trying out my pastel tints on the next two pages. I haven't done any shading. I was just trying out all the colours to see how they look together. Now I feel that pens work really well on this book. I They just go straight down into the um, tooth of the paper, spread out just a tiny bit, not enough to go over the lines. But I'm not very good at doing pens without leaving lots of little white marks. If you look from a distance, it looks a lot better than close up. So this again is pens. These are tripless pens from Stedler. They're the only felt pens I've ever used as an adult, so I don't know how they compare with other brands. But uh, they're just, I won them, and I'm sort of trying them out because I haven't used them for ages and I think they're going to start drying out soon if I don't keep using them. You can see here how the tooth of the paper makes it quite faded. Now I don't mind that. I think it adds a sort of shading and you know texture to the picture but some people I know don't like it. I I think if you're used to using pens and you're used to having a very solid amount of colour it might irritate you but because I'm used to pencils and fading and to, to um, get shade and shadow then for me it's absolutely fine this was done with black widow scorpion again i was just getting used to my new set of pencils and trying out different colors and seeing how they looked pens again um this time same tripless pens oh that one i haven't finished yet you'll have to wait <laughs> right atlas botanica another book that i was um sent to review and I've done a couple of pictures in here. Um, I find this quite, quite relaxing because if you see, they're a grayscale picture. So it doesn't take a lot of effort. You can see where you need to shade or you don't even need to shade if you don't want to. This one was done with um, Giorgione pencils. Um, it's the only picture I've done with those this, this month. Um, I tend, it's a really big tin, so they tend to get pushed away. So I don't remember to use them very often. But uh, that's that one. And then this one... Um, the red currants 
I did with Chroma Flow. Now again, this is Amazon paper. This is UK Amazon paper. It's much smoother. It hasn't got the thick tooth like the American Amazon paper, which is really strange. So pencils go down a little bit better on it. Interesting. I don't know why. There's the big difference. Right. Atlas Botanica Volume 2. I did one from here as well. This one, I can't remember what it's called. It has the sort of Latin name at the bottom and I did look it up but, so that I knew what colour it was. This is, this is the colour of the plant. I looked it up and I used Arteza Premium on that one. Okay. Now, this is another book that I was sent to review a while ago and uh, it's quite nice to do um, the old picture in it because it's quite... Um, the mandalas are quite um, relaxing and different. This one I fancy doing a blue page. I quite like all blues on a page. And um, these are Arteza Premium. This again is an American um, Amazon book, so it's a bit toothy. Hence the sort of quite faded effect here, but as I say, I don't mind. I think if you used a blending pen, um, or if you used, um, it would probably push it in, but I don't know what effect it would have on the back. But I'll have to try it sometime. Okay, patterns. Colouring Heaven. Um, well, sorry, sunglasses alert. Um, I have got neon gel pens in my Castle Art set and I don't use them very often so I thought I would have a go. I find the areas on this is quite big for gel pen. It looks really messy. Um, I don't, you, hopefully you can't see. <laughs> But I'm sort of running them out as well. Some of the colours aren't quite right because the pens were running out. But I just, the Castle Arts pens don't last long. Um, they, um, compared to like the tripless pens, they really don't last. But um, I was just having a play with those. And this one I did with tripless pens. But you can see, because I'm doing big areas, it's quite a streaky effect. But I quite like the colours. It just looks a bit streaky. I don't know. If I'd gone over it again, it probably would have looked worse. I don't know. But that's that one. It's just a bit of fun. Sometimes you just want to chill. Not have to do lots of shading and detailing and things like that. If I'm really tired, it's just a nice one to do. Right, Night Garden. Lovely book. I had a go at this page. Um, I decided that the background was too daunting but I wanted to make an impact with the pages it's the first page so I just did a background on that bit instead again I can't write my name it's nowhere near the middle I forget how to write I don't know anyway <laughs> it was colored in um, Arteza premium pencils again this is an Amazon book unfortunately this page is stuck quite high up the spine compared to the next one look and um, it made it quite difficult to colour in the spine which was another reason I didn't do a background because I think if I'd gone in there I could have ripped the page um, you can see where I went through a bit but the um, other pages are absolutely fine I don't know if it, I've just got a dud book but um, I did this one this was great fun um, what did I do this one with I think it was yes polychromos so I coloured in polychromos, I didn't worry about a background, I just did this, um, I thought the um, outside was enough and the bees wings got a bit of sparkly pen on, just on the sort of patterning on the wings rather than across the whole wing, what fun. So that was the two from there. Millie Morotta next, um, Lovely Secrets of the Sea and I did this one. Um, which is a jellyfish. I didn't know. I picked it. I thought, well, that's really pretty. I thought it was a plant. And then I looked in the back and she tells you what they are. And it's a jellyfish. And those are the colours of the jellyfish. It really is that colour. Wow. I know. So I did that one and I used um, Castle Arts Gold for that one. So that was a fun one. And I did one from her Wildlife Wonders as well got this bit of paper in this bookmark now this bit of a spoiler there is a video for a bit of this look how vibrant this is colored with um chroma flow pencils derwent chroma flow they went down so nicely on this paper look how vibrant they are and i did a little bit of a video for a bit of this um which you will get later 
I think I should I normally hide these until after the video but it's come it's made its way into my pile so you're going to see it early so that's the finished page and you'll get a little bit of a video um coming um I'm not sure when a few days time maybe not sure oh I just hit my tripod with the book right Kirby I only did one Kirby picture this month I think I have to be in the right mindset for Kirby because being so complex and this one I did I picked one that was fairly simple ish and I used Castle Arts metallic pencils you can see the shine I'll hold it still so you can have a proper look at it so I used a sort of platinum color for the tops of the water and I kept it a really really simple color scheme just to make it easy on myself why not <laughs> Okay, we have, whoops, we have Twilight Garden by Maria Trolley and this is, whoops, this is the um, video that has been going out for the last few mornings. Um, may have had the last one yesterday, I'm trying to think, not sure, but uh, there is the completed picture. So that is our... Um, our cute little mouse and I did that for Pixie Pixie's projects um, coloring tag and I'm hoping to uh, see her video soon where she uh, where she puts together all the pictures that of the people that have entered and picks out her new one now if you want to take part and you're a bit late because I put this video out really late um, follow her on YouTube and she'll announce the tag it's usually in the first few days of the month it gives you plenty of time to have a go so there's that one. Now my lovely swatch book that I was gifted. I've started doing this. Now I know you're thinking, oh, swatching. No, I haven't just swatched. So you, you'll see. So Arteza Expert, yes, I've swatched, but I've also, what I decided to do, because I find swatching quite dull, but I realise how useful it is. I decided that I would treat myself every time I swatched a page to colour in the picture, which was great fun. So I only have the, um, I say only, I don't have the full set of Arteza Expert. It looks like I've got lots of them though. I'm sort of missing a few. Um, quite a lot of the greys and things are missing from the set I have. I, I guess there's a 120, I have the 75. It's plenty. And um, I coloured in our little critter. Um, and I think you might recognise this star from our how-to video, how to colour stars. I know I haven't done many of those lately. I'm trying to get ahead with videos for the summer, so putting three out in a day is a bit much. So I've just reduced the pressure on myself and I'm not doing those, but I may do some soon. We'll see. And then here is the Black Widow page. Now, you know I'm not a fan of snakes. And I thought, I just decided one day, oh, I'll just swatch my Black Widows casually without realising that, ugh, snake. I tried to make him look as cute as I could and I used, tried to use the colours from the box for these. So the spider's got the red bit on like in the box. I did some sparkle on the web. I don't know if you can see. The scorpion is black and red, but I didn't want it too black, so I used a couple of colours. And, and I also used the colours from that set. So that scorpion set of pencils, that cobra set of pencils, and that spider set of pencils, so that was quite fun. So I did that. I don't have the skin tones or the monarch set, so I haven't done those. And I did my poly colours. I've only got 12 and there is 120. I really like them. Um, but um, I just coloured in the branches around the page. It's not um, a massively pretty page, that one, but there's a lot going on. And this is my first blank chart that I filled out when I did the flip through of the book. I think I started showing you that these are the Stedler Ergosofts. I just picked the first page I know they're alphabetical at the beginning of the book. There's no page for Stedler, so I just chose this one because I wanted to colour that in, which I coloured in with the Stedlers. So that was fun. We're nearly at the end. You're doing ever so well. Are you still awake? Are you still with me? <laughs> Last book, Uplifting Words. Um, and I just did the one page um, from this one this time. And I struggled to read it when I was doing it. It says, be hopeful, stay positive. I liked that. And I kept it really simple. I just wanted a simple page. So it's tripless pens, 
all over and then I went over the top of the lettering on the circles on the lettering with a shiny pen to just draw attention to them so it's really simple so that is me that is all the um, pictures that I've done this month all I say so that's um, 62 pictures there are a few extras that I've done which are a few for tutorials which come out in July and haven't done too many spoilers apart from the one um, but that always happens each month like the some of the ones in June I'd done in May so uh, that's lovely I didn't go across as many books this month 31 books and two downloads last month I did um, a lot more I tried to colour in every book that I owned I didn't do that this month I just um, wanted to um, just do something different I haven't got set myself a challenge for next month as to what I'll colour so we'll just wait and see how it goes um, with the children home and things like that I just don't know so we'll see I don't want to uh, pressure myself into doing something and then not being able to do it so that's that that's me for today so I hope you enjoyed all those um, I, I love making these videos it's really interesting just looking back at what I've colored um, I hope you like it too it seems like you do um, they, these videos do get quite a lot of views um, but I want to say um, to anyone who's viewing that hasn't subscribed please do um, it does um, help to support the channel and you can if you click the bell you can decide how many notifications you get so you can have none or you can have all of them or some of them so that you can check so I, it doesn't get too annoying and the sub, and the clicking the subscribe button just helps some um, helps some um, YouTube show these videos to more people which um, helps to encourage more people to color I hope that's always the aim of the channel anyway so thank you so much for watching um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>